Bible. Which Bible do you read? Which is for you is the most reliable? Uh, King James, and New obviously. King, New King James. Yeah, you're not going to go with the NIV. But I use the ESV a lot because I've got a. Oh, you can't Greek, use. You can't I've use got a Greek. You can't use the KJV and the ESV. There's verses in the KJV, not in the ESV. Yeah. Okay. Let's. So are they the word of God or not? Let's, let's, just for the cameras, has given me permission when people talk about the bus, the just give me a second, right? I talk about the mental bus and crazy Christians that they should be on this bus, right? Here's a crazy Muslim that should be with them. You are benefits, yeah? Spider. This is what we do, you see. When you we have Muslims benefits, acting in Spider. such a manner, we call them out, yeah? When we see Muslims mocking, we call them out. This is that Christians, this is how you deal with Ulan crazy speakers. Lies. Anyway, sorry, Chris. Ulan Those four points yeah. come from the law of Moses. No. But Yes, they no, do. No, they don't. Oh, yes, they do. They come from before Moses. They come from no, the no, 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 no. Oh. They come from the law of Moses. One. I think you're mistaken. You've one, listened one, to one. the one. Jewish propaganda. So, if you know the law of Moses... You... Chris, you're a dishonest man. No, I'm trying to help you. Uh, no, I'll I'm tell you trying why you're to help you to win. I'll tell you why you're dishonest. So you can come to Jesus no, no. and win Chris, Chris, eternal life. I'll tell you why you're dishonest. You said you've never looked at this. You've never looked at this. You never looked at the reaction of the disciples of Jesus to Paul teaching this. And now you're trying to do exegesis on something, eisegesis on something that you've not read. So, so, so what you're saying... Introduce yourself. I'm Hamza. I've I'm seen Hamza. you around, but I don't know you. Yeah, my name's Hamza. What's your name? Chris. Chris, how are you doing, Chris? I'm a Christian. You're a Chris, Chris the Christian. So uh, fantastic. So that's how you can remember it. Alhamdulillah. So basically, so what you're saying is this. You don't discuss what the New Testament says or your doctrines of Christianity with Muslims who don't really believe the scriptures and what you're saying is reliable, yeah? No, the, 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 the doctrine of Trinity is very theologically. Even, I know it is. Oh, you know, and even, not even all Christians agree on it. I know. So you would need to carefully examine the scriptures. I would agree. And if we don't really trust the scriptures, then there is no point to do that. But no, but here's my claim. I don't believe. Oh, I, uh, maybe NATO. Maybe NATO. Uh, this, listen, this is you know for this for the sake of this argument. And there's two arguments presented here. Yeah. Put it aside. I think it would be fair to so put the mic on him so everyone's heard. Yeah. Okay. Let me give you a mic. It's not fair me having two mics and you having none. Otherwise, everyone's gonna say. So everyone, everyone's gonna say, oh, this guy. Right. So. I've got two claims. Yeah. All right. I don't believe you can justify Jesus being God even if every word of the New Testament is true. I don't believe you can. Yeah? That's my first claim. My second claim is obviously I don't believe they're reliable anyway, but even if they were, I don't believe you could justify it. Now, there's two things we can do here. One, you can ch take my first challenge and I'll allow you to use the New Testament. I'll allow you to use the verses and you can say, well, but if I, as a Christian, if I take this at face value, this, this demonstrates Jesus is God. Yeah? No. My brother. No. Thank you. Thank you. We don't have any other film. It's only Hans's Den that, that does these. Okay? That's it. Okay. Right. So basically, so this is how we... Um, I lost, I lost my train of thought now. Yeah, you're talking about the, 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 we can talk about the Trinity taking the scriptures, or we can just do something else. Right, right, yeah, yeah. So you can either take on my challenge that I don't think you can justify um, Jesus being God based upon what the scriptures say, or you can take on the challenge that um, the reliability of the scripture. Now, I know you love the idea of the reliability of the scripture. Because mm -hmm. with with because obviously even if you prove that uh, Jesus is God according to what if the, if what the scriptures say is true, I'm still then going to say well the scriptures are not reliable. So maybe if you want to do the first thing first, well, we would, the reliability we, we, of the New we, Testament. We, want, we would need to start with the reliability of the New Testament. Is it reliable or not? Fantastic. Or the Old Testament or is anything reliable? Or not? you know you got to start somewhere. So well, that, well the idea uh, that you get about Christianity is based in what the Gospels say, in letters of Paul and such. So, let's test that reliability. Yeah? Now, I would, I would even cut to the chase, and I wouldn't even bother with the Gospels initially. My, my first port of call is Paul. You yeah? don't trust Paul? No. 
and I believe Paul letters influence the Gospels yeah so I think there's a Pauline theme throughout the Gospels based upon the letters of Paul that's what I believe and you have to accept if Paul isn't reliable yeah if Paul isn't reliable then that would collapse every denomination of Christianity so yeah okay but you come from the your first statement is Paul is not reliable yes so you would need to explain why that is because you can't just say that okay why do you believe Paul is reliable I would think most Christians believe Paul is reliable. No, why but do you, you believe it? You come with this. No, but why do you believe no, he's reliable? You say he's unreliable. Yes. So give me your reason. No, no, but why my, he's my, my, my reaction of being him being unreliable is a reaction to your claim that he's reliable. So, for example, Christians believe such and such are true because it says in Galatians, it says in Romans, it says in Corinthians, it says. Yeah? yeah. So you, you cite Paul as evidence for your belief, yeah. which means your premise for your belief is based upon. The reliability of Paul. That when Paul writes something, no, says he, something. No, no, not really. Go on. This is not. This is not. True, not correct. Okay. Go on. If we, if we take Paul out of the New Testament altogether, okay. if we take all the writings of Paul out, yes, it doesn't really change anything. It changes everything. No, it doesn't change the core beliefs. It does. It doesn't. It, it does. all stands. Without Paul, it all stands still. Okay, show me original sin without Paul. Uh, original sin is a theological concept. Bro, 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 please, don't be, don't, be, don't be ignorant. Don't be ignorant. Please, please, don't be ignorant. Don't be ignorant. Don't be ignorant. Please, please. Original sin is not a... I don't care. Well, this Anybody isn't. Anybody can come this here. This isn't. This isn't. Don't touch me. Okay. This is public space. No, 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 no. Have some respect. Everybody Have some can respect. come here. Have some respect. Okay. So, Okay. okay, original sin is another theological concept yeah. which you Where will you find to, it? We, you would need to carefully consider the scriptures. Since again you don't trust the scriptures, there is no point in believing original sin or to discuss original sin. Because also not all Christians believe in the same concept no, no, of original sin. Listen to my question. It's so, a clear question. It's a clear question. So where in the you, New Testament can you find original sin? So where is it found? Again, you come with a theological concept that you don't believe in. No, no. But not all Christians believe in it. No, 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 no. So it's another. You made a claim. You made a claim. I make a claim. You said Paul. If you remove the letters of Paul from the Bible, I make the claim that Paul is reliable. Right, right, right. right. Okay, here's my claim. You can't find original sin in the New Testament outside the letters of Paul. Yeah, but that's a totally different subject. No, no, it's not. I'll tell you why. Because you said you could take Paul out of the Bible and it doesn't change anything. Now, original sin is a thing in Christianity. Without original sin, there's okay. no need for a saviour. Um, let me think. Original what? sin is probably also in the Psalms. So uh, I said it in the New Testament. No, no it, it, the New Testament and the Old Testament are together. Uh, show me original sin in the Psalms. Yeah, Psalm 51. Read it. Just tell him we blur that out, he knows that, doesn't he? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, stay there, stay there, stay there. Do we work up Allah? Yeah, look, bro, my brother, if you, if you stand here, you stand, I'm, I'm helping you, I'm helping you. I'm helping you. You don't help, you cause trouble. Yeah, just stand there, just stand there, just stand there. No, there, 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 that's perfect. I'm helping you. Okay. A Psalm of David. A Psalm of David. Yeah, go. 51. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love, according to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions, wash me, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgression, and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight so that you may be justified in your words and blameless in your judgments. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, you delight in truth, in the inward being, you teach me wisdom in the secret heart. Especially here, behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Okay, what, so, does, what does that mean? That means sin has always been with him from conception. Okay, why? Who is his mother? That's how it is. Who is his mother? That's irrelevant. Well, no, no. 
because in this case no it's not because he, david is saying i was conceived in sin yeah yeah right now you you you're trying to imply that conceived in no, no don't do that take the mics off take the mics off my implication is indeed that we all you know where to watch it hamza's then yeah conceived okay. we are all conceived in sin yeah. we are all conceived in sin that's my implication say it again that's my that's what i'm saying we are all conceived no, in no, sin no 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 but so here's the problem you have who his mother is specifically is irrelevant i'll tell you what if his mother was a prostitute if his mother was a prostitute would that explain conceived in sin no. not to me so if a woman is a prostitute and she get, conceives a child through that prostitution you're saying to me she's not he that baby's not conceived through sin the sin that is in the child is not the responsibility read what david says mother. read what david says i'm i'm saying no read what david says okay. for i know my transgressions okay and my sin is ever before me against you right so we know david sin according yeah. to the bible so we know what he did Done so what? so one second one second let's just let's just understand and unravel it as we go so that verse is talking about david repenting for his sin yeah now we know david did adultery according to your bible yeah we know what he did he lined up the wives of his the yeah, you have no other information according no, 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 to no. my bible this is so no, 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 obvious no. and clear. So, so 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 the point here is this so according to your bible so, no i don't like no. this put down this is we are no, reading down. from the psalms no no if you don't accept the psalms no, then no, no. it's no evidence we're not accept no 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 what we do i'm not dismissing the psalms okay i'm not dismissing the psalms what i'm so doing to you you accept what is written no, 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 here no 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 I'm helping you understand what's written. No, you are dismissing the evidence. No, I'm, I'm explaining the evidence. Okay, are you accepting the evidence? What evidence? The evidence that I bring is to you from the Psalms. Right. You say according to. I agree with you. Okay, so the Psalms is evidence for what God is saying. You no, accept it. No, no, I'll say it again to you. I'll say it again to you. Or are you saying original sin? You're talking about a theological construct, but we don't accept oh, any okay. evidence that of it. That verse you this. cited has nothing to do with original sin, as you believe it. Oh, yes. No, it, it doesn't. doesn't. No, it doesn't. Because we, no, no, it doesn't. Because it says, in sin I was conceived. In sin I was conceived. What does that so, mean? What does that mean? So in sin I was conceived. Conception happens. No. I don't need to no. give you a biology lesson. No, no. I'll say it again to you. If you look at the explanation and the exeg have you done the exegesis on this, or is this your eisegesis? Is it, this just your understanding, or is, oh, is this scholarship? You said, you said original sin is only in Paul. No, I'm saying it's in the Psalms too. That's not original sin. That's not original sin. Oh yes, it is. No, it's not. Because he is obviously conceived with sin. No, that's the idea of oh, okay. original sin. Okay, the exegesis of the verse. Do you, have you read the exegesis of the, the verse? The idea of original sin is that we are that we have sin originally in us Chris so Chris the verse is saying I was conceived in iniquity okay no in, brought forth in iniquity conceived, conceived in, sin. in sin yes because his mother yeah was a harlot no, but that's not beside the point no no it is the point no it's not the point okay it is the point the point is in the verse David is saying even though my mother I was conceived through an, a, a sinful act I was conceived in a sinful that's act. That's not what he says. That's exactly what he says. He it doesn't say, I was conceived in a sinful act. It's exactly what he says. No, he says, I, in sin I was conceived. So it, what's you the are difference? adding something. What's sin? You are adding what's something. Sin? What is sin? We what is could, sin? We could actually say, you are corrupting the scripture. What is which sin? Which obviously is not what you want to do. What is sin? No, you are corrupting the scripture. No, you've just misunderstood really it. You've denied to Jesus and misunderstood it. So, okay, let's move on. What is sin? Sin. Uh, do anything that God has forbidden. Right, so what? Or anything that doesn't honor so God. So, what did David do as a baby that God forbid? Nothing. So, how is he because he was sin? Well, there is your idea. Bro, 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 you stop doing that. I don't, no, I don't know mics from nobody on any of our guests or Thank mine. You. We don't care about that. So, there is, there is your idea of original sin in the Old Testament, in Psalms. Say it again. There is your idea of original sin, even in Psalms. Okay, I'll say it again to you. So, that's a misunderstanding. Okay. So, that, that, that's so a David, all of us are conceived oh, 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 Okay, but you're wrong about that. Do you accept, you accept this verse could mean what you're saying? 
but it could also mean what I'm saying. I'm lying. They will laugh and ridicule me. And I'll tell them um, now, my explanation makes sense. Oh, yeah, yeah, you have clarified that you doubt the scriptures. Say again. Now, against, you have clarified that you doubt the scriptures. <laughs> But we, if we want to talk about theological points like original sin, we first need to establish if scripture is reliable or not. Otherwise, we can't. We have no foundation right. and the, and the, and this to is, build on. Right. So this is how we started. Whether that, whether David said that or not, yeah, is irrelevant. If he said it, is, it if he is, said it, it I'm is, still right. It is relevant. No, I'll tell you why it's not relevant. Yes. I'll tell you why it's not relevant. Because even if he did say it, you're still wrong. Because no. it isn't referring to original sin. This no. is just your false interpretation. That's no, all it is. No, it's obvious. No, it's Everybody not. Everybody can read it. Everybody knows who David's mother was. Ev Everybody can read this. Oh, okay. And uh, come, I'll say it again to and, you. And everybody can read this. And, all all and you need to do. And everybody can come to the conclusion, can come to the conclusion, that there is something like original no, sin. No, no, they already, can't. But I've already said before, not all Christians agree on that. No, no, no. So That's everybody irrelevant. can read this okay. and, re and think it's reliable, but I'll, we I'll can come to different conclusions. Oh, okay. when, the church, when, the, when the church came up with the idea well of original done, sin... The church. Yeah, the church. The church. Yeah, when the church... Which came, church? Let me just put this mic who did? Sorry. Who came up with that idea? Okay. When the church came up with the idea the of original sin... The church. Well, who, came up, who, who came up with the original uh, trinity? Who came up with the incarnation? Probably, you probably refer to St. Augustine. Well, when did the incarnation come? When did you get the understanding of incarnation? When was the Council of Chelsea? No, you jumped to something else. No, no, no. No, because you just mocked the idea of church saying something when the church taught you that Jesus had two natures. I, I, the church the taught church you. I, 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 yeah, the I church don't, taught you. Exactly. In the you hear it? The church is run by the Catholics. I'm not Catholic, so I don't it's accept the authority you, of the Catholic Church. Do you accept the authority of the Ecumenical Councils? Only if their authority, if what they say is based on scripture. So do you find it, do you accept the findings of the Council of Chalcedon? No, I go back to, I, I appreciate. Are you a Christian? Are you a Christian? No, no. Oh, I, I thought you could help him. Man. I, no, I, he does, I, I, that doesn't need to. What, what are you? I, what are you? Okay. So are you atheist or something? Yeah. yeah. Oh, brilliant. Do you want to do, do, you want you, to do next? You prefer, oh, I love atheists. You prefer to move Christians on. for my lunch and you guys for my no, no, you're fine. dinner. Thank you though. If, if you prefer to move on, that's fine. Right. But no, no. I'm saying, yeah. if the if ecumenical councils or anyone, if the Pope or anyone... Do you accept the Council of Chalcedon? If anyone says anything, I want to know where is it based on All Scripture. Right. Do you accept the okay? Council of Chalcedon? If, we, if I accept anything from them, it needs to be based on Scripture. Okay, do you accept okay. the Council of Chalcedon? So, do you know what was determined at the Council of Chalcedon? So, let's go to you the source, right, to come, the origin. Come, come, come. We have the Scriptures, All right. we can trust them. Uh, okay. We don't need the Why Pope can you trust or the Council. Why can you trust the Gospels? Because we have nothing better than the Gospels. So because you've got nothing better, you trust it? Okay. It's because why why it's do you believe the Gospels are reliable? Because they are. Why you can you? read it. You can read how it's written. You can check all the internal, how they connect. So if I, if I find internal inconsistency in the Gospels, will you accept there's a problem with the Gospels? Then I accept there's a problem with your understanding of the Gospels. Okay, let's see then. Okay. Should we test it then? So, if you don't understand it, All right. you can say this is rubbish, or you can say how can we understand it? Oh, okay, okay. So bring your. All right. What do you, you think believe the Pharisees? Did you believe the Pharisees wanted to kill Jesus for healing on the Sabbath? I assume so. Yes, I think so. Why do you believe that's true? Well, we'll do you have scripture to? Do you have scripture to support that claim? No, in your scriptures, yeah. it says the Pharisees wanted to kill Jesus or plotting to kill him and get rid of him because he healed somebody on the Sabbath. Do you believe that's true? It says something like that, but I would like to find that scripture and read it and so we can actually look at what it says. Mark, Mark 16, I think it says. Mark 16. I think it's Mark 16. Just, just, just type in Google, Jesus healing on the Sabbath. No, Mark 16 is the last book of it, the last verse of the last chapter of Mark, so it won't be that. Uh, oh yeah, you don't believe in that, do you? Yeah, I do. I think, it's, I think it is. I do believe in that. Oh, you believe you, in the longer you, ending? You, pro you probably don't, but I do. Most Christian scholars don't. A uh, few Christian scholars don't, but... Majority don't? No, no, no. no. Majority don't? No, that's not true. Well, which, which Christian scholars believe that the longer ending of Mark is authentic? For the last 2,000 years, nearly all the Christian scholars Who? have believed that. Who? Just more recently, some of them... Majority? Of no, the opinion, not the majority. Do you know? Okay. Do you know why? For two thousand years they believed it, and then now they don't. Do you know why? Because. No. Do you know why? 
because they I'll found they found a Bible in the Vatican no, which didn't have it. That's not why. No, okay. Uh, why. Because Tischendorf, at the end of the 19th century, found the Codex Sinaiticus, and when they compared the, the Codex Sinaiticus, where did he find it? Sinai. No. Where? where, did, where what's that? Is that a monastery in Sinai? Okay. So. Yeah. A Catholic monastery. So. Yeah. Okay. We said the Vatican. It's not the Vatican. So that's okay. connected to the so Vatican. So Tischendorf found these manuscripts, the oldest reliable manuscripts you have of the New Testament. And there is no longer any in a mark. It actually says so the end. You said, but anyway, all, so anyway. one manuscript found in the Sinai doesn't have it. All the others do. No, they don't. So that's not a majority. Okay, is it in uh, is it in uh, Vaticanus? Well, again, in the Vatican, isn't it? Okay, okay, so it's not in Vaticanus. So which manuscript? I don't, I don't know. So when does it first appear in the manuscripts? It's in all the manuscripts. No, just it's not, the, it's two, not the two you mentioned. Yeah, this it's just not in your oldest reliable manuscripts. Those two, I agree. Those two are connected. To the Catholic Church. I've already told you I don't trust the Catholic Church. You're all connected to the Catholic Church. No, I don't. Of course you are. No. You all emanated out of it. You're Protestant. No aren't way. You? You're Protestant. The Catholic Church, when were, did it start? Could you, okay, you could only have a Reformation if there was something to start from. Yeah, but there anyway, was anyway, something. Did you find it? I think, it's Mark, I think it's Mark 16 4. Jesus heals on the Sabbath. No, it won't be because that's the last chapter of Okay, Mark. let's let's say maybe I'm wrong. So there must be another one. Uh, Matthew, Matthew 16? 3, sorry. <laughs> Matthew 3? Uh, I, think, I think it's Matthew 3, sorry. Uh, okay, so this is this is Matthew th Mark 3. Which Bible do you read? Which is for you is the most reliable? Uh, King James, and obviously. King, New King James. Yeah, you're not going to go with the NIV. But I use the ESV a lot because I've got a oh, you Greek, can't use, you can't I've got a Greek, I got a Greek so under, is, under it. Whoa, whoa, stop, 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 stop. You can't use the KJV and the ESV. They can't both be true. No, I'm, I'm saying because you didn't hear the be because. Yeah, but there's verses in the KJV, not in the ESV. Yeah, okay. Let's. So are they the word of God or let's, not? Let's look at the KJV, the, the King James, yeah? Okay, let's go King James. Yeah. But you can't believe those two things are, tr are both true. It's helpful to actually look at... Uh... No, but they can't both be true. No, but it's helpful. I, I, you didn't hear the second part of my I sentence. Did, I did, I heard it, I heard it. The second part was... Yeah, you said you got some intel in a uh, Greek um, Yes, exactly. Yeah, so but that doesn't, if change, I, if if I, doesn't change the reality, does if, it? No, it, it does. If I don't understand the English word correctly, I can check the what Greek What if the verse word. isn't there? Yes. What if the verse isn't there in the ESV? Huh? What if the verse isn't there? In, you're reading the KJV. It's, it's there. No, 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 listen, listen. No, you're you no, going down the no, side no, but just, I just want to answer. Don't, don't uh, get no, off track. No, 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 no. You, Chris, you Chris, Chris, about trust me, I'm on point. Healing. So, so <laughs> when you read in the KJV, just to understand this, this principle, you read in the KJV and you come across a verse and you want to understand what this verse is saying. Yeah. Yeah? In Greek. Yeah. So you get the ESV out to yeah. check that verse. Check the Greek, yeah, to connect it. But the verse isn't there. No, it is there. No, no, but if the verse isn't there. Yeah, okay, you talk about one or two verses. No, but if the verse isn't there, yeah, but you talk about one or two verses, so right, that verse, hardly ever happens. You're not listening, Chris. If the verse isn't there, what does that make you think? Yeah, then... You Don't you think to yourself, why is the verse not here? No, because I really work from the King James, not from the ESV. No, no, you do. But you use the ESV to understand the King James. Yeah, that's helpful. Why not? But there's no verse... So if there's a verse in the KJV that isn't... Yeah, you talk the, about one or two verses. Whatever verse it is... It's really, whatever, really... No, but as a Christian, is that, the, is that verse... It's really a very ridiculous... But is that verse... Problem no, 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 no. I'll, I'll tell you why it's a big problem for you. No, it's not. I'll tell you why it is. I'll tell you why it is. Because you can't make the claim that this book is the Word of God and then men can delete verses as they choose or add verses as they choose. No, of, co no, of course they can. They can? No, they can, of course. So, because so how do you know then what you're reading is reliable? Like the end of Mark. Okay. So, so you accept men can corrupt? They can take it out, yes, of course. So, you, so men can corrupt the Bible? Yeah. Oh, cool. And they can right. correct anything. Okay. They, can corrupt they can make the anything up. They can corrupt the Quran. They can, they they can. Can. Oh, oh, yes, they can. Oh, yes, please, they can. Brother, please, please. I've, I've said English translations please. of the Quran. Corruption Quran, like this. Arabic, the Quran. So people do Brother, that. Please. People can do that. So okay, the Quran does not help you in this scenario. Okay. Now, what you're saying now is people could make Jesus say whatever they wanted. No. You just did that. They could write whatever oh, they yeah, wanted. People can talk all sorts of rubbish. No, 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 they can write it. Uh, they can write all sorts of rubbish. And it, so how would you how would you know whether that thing is true or not? They can make movies and, how would you and plays. Know, how, no, 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 no. Movies and plays about you. Jesus. Listen to what I'm saying to you. They can make claims Listen about Jesus. A lot of people claim absolute rubbish about Chris, Jesus. Chris, Chris, Chris. They can do Chris, that. Chris, Chris, Chris. And actually, God in His grace allows them to do that. Chris, Chris. We're talking about your but scripture. That doesn't change your, any. Talk about your scripture. Yes. Okay. That 
but that people do these things doesn't change anything. Well, it does. Because we I'll, I'll still, tell you why it does. Because Go we on. still have the original. I'll tell you why you so, don't. You, we you, do. First thing, you don't have an original. Oh, yes. Where's the original? What original do you have? I don't have it on me. Okay, what's it called? What, what manuscript is your original? The original, um, the Septuagint for the Old Testament and... Uh, you don't have an original. Your oldest, your oldest manuscripts of the Old Testament is 11th century. 11th century. Oh, that's that sea scrolls you're talking about. Yeah. It's not. Are you a Christian? He's oh, 11, no. he, 11, 11 century, 11 centuries out. It's all right. No. He's 11 centuries out. 11 centuries out. In the 11th century, the Muslims. What is the oldest the, manuscripts of the Old Testament? Oh, you, you didn't do your homework. You have to Google it up now. Uh, okay, okay. So, okay. Sorry? You didn't do your homework. You have to Google it up now. No, the I'm oldest, not, test, the oldest manuscripts of the Old Testament, he it, says, not. are from the 11th century. Yeah. In the 11th century, the Muslims first came with the claim that the Old Testament was corrupted. Before the 11th century, Muslims never claimed it. Sorry? They never claimed it. The Quran doesn't claim the corruption of the you. Gospels. Quran doesn't help you. The early Muslims the never claimed it, Islam's not but help modern you. Muslims, they have invented a new idea. Islam's not going to help you. Islam's not going to help so, you. So, this whole idea that the Bible is corrupted okay. is an innovation. What's the name of the oldest manuscripts of the Old Testament? You can find the Dead Sea Scrolls. Look it up. The Dead Sea Scrolls? Have yeah, you, there uh, are have Old you... Testament scriptures they what, found what, what, what books are found in the Dead Sea Scrolls? Um, quite a few. Which ones are not found? I. I don't have, I don't, not present. Right, so what's your uh, oldest complete Old Testament? Oh, the complete Old Testament. Yeah. Well, now, here is a Muslim uh, making a statement he knows is silly. Why? A complete Old Testament is a book that is very big. Right. The techni technical skills to make a book like uh, that uh. only were invented, well, came around the year 300, so, 400. So you, okay? don't have, so you don't have so an original? he's asking for something that never could exist. So you don't have an original? When do you have, do you have the Quran you, on a floppy no, disk? No, 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 no. no. Okay, because so why did you make the claim you have the original? Because the, when was the Old Testament the written? The technical skills to make such a book never existed. When, when was the Old Testament written? So your question Chris, is Chris, 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 Chris. You, you made are a claim. making a statement. Did you make the claim? You are making right. a statement Let me not that you. either shows ignorance or shows deceit. Chris, you... Which one is it? Chris, you made the claim. I'm responding to your claim. You said you have an original Old Testament. Yes? I said we have original manuscripts. Then you asked right, for an okay, original okay. book. Okay. This is deceitful oh, okay. or ignorant. You have original manuscripts, yes? Which one is it? Oh, okay. So when I say manuscripts, okay. I'm referring to complete manuscripts. Yeah, that is ridiculous because they don't exist. Then nobody right, had right, the right. technical skills to make a manuscript like right, that. Right, right, right. Like so, nobody... So, so how do you know? Nobody could put okay, on okay. a memory scale. Okay. Memory stick. So how do you... don't have it. Okay. Your claim is ridiculous. I'll tell you why it's not I ridiculous. A full book. I'll tell you why it's not ridiculous. Because there's no because if there you don't no have book an, of that then you don't have an original. Those days. Then you don't have an original. The originals were written on scrolls. But you don't have an original. It was written on scrolls. Okay, I'll say it again to you. Showing me, showing me bits Sorry. and pieces. Listen, listen, Chris. Showing me bits of pieces of manuscripts. Not bits and pieces. A lot of manuscripts. Okay. Showing me an incomplete uh, set of manuscripts for the Old Testament. Yeah, does not demonstrate what's been added or removed from this because it's not complete. What you need is something complete to compare it to. You have no, inf you have no right. proof. So, so the first for thing, additions or deletions. Well, we do. You don't. Well, we do. No, you don't. I'll tell you how we do. <laughs> I'll tell you why we do. You have no proof at all. You just have I'll a tell, preconceived I'll, I'll idea. I'll tell you the proof. To say there must be a corruption. Shall I tell you the proof? Yeah. Shall I tell you the proof? Uh, you, you have a preconceived idea invented in 11th century Spain shall by I, some Muslims. Sh shall I make a proof? Not shall by the early proof? Muslims. Shall I give you the proof? He says the, 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 there are corruptions. Chris, Chris, now, Chris. you disagree with the Quran. Chris. And you disagree with the Chris, reality. Chris, Chris, Chris. First thing, I don't know why you keep talking about the Quran. Not going to help you. Because you're a Muslim, are you? But it's not going to help you in your answer so, to your question, no, is no, it? No. The question. I'm, I'm saying, asking you about the reliability of you, your scripture. You actually disagree with your own book. No, no, I don't. No, I don't. And you disagree with the facts. No, I don't. To prove uh, Chris, Chris, please. that God's Chris, words Chris, cannot be stop, kept. Stop grabbing at straws, please. No, please. it's not straws. Uh, I'll tell you why it is. I, I'm asking, like you've you made I'm the just, claim. You, you, this I is just what you can't said. Believe this how is what you said. You I'll tell you how dishonest you are now. You're either dishonest or ignorant. I don't know which one it is now. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to work it out. You made a claim. You know what's in the Bible is true because you have original manuscripts. And you don't. You don't. And the original manuscripts you have do not match what says in your Bible. There are lots of manuscripts. They don't match what's in your Bible. Oh, yeah, they do. 
Okay. The story of John, in the Gospel of John, about the adulterous woman, he without sin cast the first stone, is not found in the oldest okay. manuscripts of John. Now you're not talking about the Old Testament anymore, are you? You're talking about John. What? So we jumped to another subject. Oh, okay. okay. We started off talking about the reliability of the Gospels. Yeah. Then I started talking about the reliability of Paul. Then I, then I said, then you said to me we could remove Paul. You guys are facing the wrong cameras. <laughs> which cameras am I facing? I don't know which cameras I'm facing. Just, just one second. Just come, Chris. Come here. Come here, sir, Chris. We'll just put ourselves in the right place. I'm just talking to him. You know, that's fine. No, we're talking to the world. <laughs> You're the cameraman. Move the cameras. Yeah, we are, but they're in the way. That those ones are in the way. So well, I'll put my back to him then, Chris. No problem. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Done. Okay. So here, here's the point with me. This is how this chain has happened. So we started off talking about the reliability of your scripture. Yeah. Yeah. Then I questioned the reliability of Paul. You then made the claim you could remove Paul's letters from the Bible and it wouldn't change anything. I said it's only through the letters of Paul that you can find original sin. You then made the claim in Psalms you can find original sin. And you then quoted not, Psalms not, 51. One second, and one second. I said no one one the second. Christians agree okay. with that anyway. One second. You quoted Psalms 51, yeah. and the exegesis of this verse doesn't marry up with what you're saying. Psalms ex sorry, Psalms 51 is just telling you the iniquity of David's mother. That she was a prostitute, he was conceived through prostitution. That's what that verse is saying. You're trying to make the claim that David's saying he was conceived uh, in sin at that point. Con how does that mean conceived uh, in sin? That's nonsense. Uh, uh, okay, because the act of prostitution is sinful. If a baby occurs through if the baby occurs through that act, then he's born through a sin act. Yeah, it doesn't say through Standard. sin, it says in sin. Oh, okay, it's the so same now thing. You're changing it okay, again. in sin, doing prostitution is being in sin. If you're conceived in prostitution, you're conceived in sin. Yeah, but Standard. It, you're, this you're, is you're the ex this is the classical This is the classic biblical exegesis of this verse. What you're trying to do, no, you're, that's you're, the you're trying to take a verse. That's the Catholic. I'm listen, not Catholic. What you're you trying see. to do is take a verse and make it match your worldview. You're no, trying no, to squeeze no, it in no, there. No, and it doesn't. You assume that it I have you assume that I have a Catholic worldview. I don't. I didn't even mention Catholic. Yeah, you yeah, keep mentioning no, Catholic. I can hear it. I haven't mentioned Catholic. The way you explain this psalm is a very Catholic way of explaining it. It's a very Jewish psalm. way of explaining no, it. No, no, it's Catholic. It's Jewish. Well I don't know. I'm not the expert on <laughs> it's Jewish. It's their books. So the Catholic Church has made this idea that sex is the original sin. I don't know where they got it from. Look, anyway, look, look, look. that's up to the uh, Pope. Uh, no, no. Sex is not the original sin. The that's... act of prostitution is the sin. A baby conceived through the acts of prostitution is conceived through the sin. Just yeah? getting my jumper. Yeah, yeah. No okay. It's getting a little bit chilly. Yeah. So that, that's the point being made. Then we're on the Old Testament. Then you started making the claim that we have original manuscripts. Now, I assumed you were talking about the New Testament, and I said you don't have an original. Yeah, your oldest manuscripts of the New Testament is 4th century. Your oldest scrap is 2nd century, which demonstrates nothing. It's the year 120. Yeah? 90 years after Jesus. What is? Only what, what is 90 years after? The oldest scrap. Scrap? What, does, what, does, the the what, what does the scrap prove? What does the scrap prove? That's the oldest manuscript. But what does it prove? I didn't say what it proved. It proves said, nothing. So it's I irrelevant. Just corrected you. No, no, no. Or added to But what having you said. a scrap credit card sized piece of manuscript proves nothing with regards to the reliability of the New Testament. Nothing. Nothing whatsoever. Well, it proves something. No, a scrap proves Not nothing. Not everything, but no. it proves something. What does it prove? It proves something that what? in the year 120, there were Gospels around. Okay, who's the. They're exactly no, the same. No, 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 but they're not. But they're not exactly the same. The, the piece that we found. What's the oldest Gospel of John you have? The piece that we found. What's from, the oldest Gospel what of John? About from the year 120, which is the same as what we have now. So, well, it's not the same as we have now. Yeah, keep saying so that. that. That's crap. O okay. In it your... doesn't change okay. anything. That's still the same. No, the scrap changes nothing. I agree. No. But the scrap can prove nothing either. It All proves, the scrap can it, prove. All the scrap can no, prove. Proves. All the scrap can prove is that in the first or second century, let's say second century, yeah, that there was somebody, so a piece of manuscript with the title, with the author's claim to be John, was written. And at that time... And no one, no one is disputing that. In fact, I'm disputing the opposite. I'm not saying that uh, the, author of, the author of John or this, this manuscript never existed. I'm saying I agree it existed, but what the Gospel of John said then and what the Gospel of John says now, there is differences. No, there isn't. Well, there is, because the story of the adulterous woman is not in your oldest manuscript okay, of John. Okay, again, again, this is a Catholic problem. 
Why is it a Catholic problem? Because the Catholic Church has a problem with sexual immorality and therefore they what? took it out. So they, you they took it out? So you don't find that story in... They took it out? But you don't find that story in the Vaticanus, the Catholic one. You don't find it in Sinaiticus either. And you don't uh, another Catholic one. Okay, any more? Why is Sinaiticus So the Catholic? problem is the Catholic Church. You've got to get away from that. The when Catholic, did the Catholic Church, Church start? The Catholic when did the Catholic Church, Church start? The Catholic Church has nothing to do with Jesus. When did the Catholic Church okay. start? The Catholic Church. I'm trying to make this very off track. No, when, no, no. When, like when, when, when? It's like a train that when? got off track. When? It's crashed now. When? Leave it. I can't believe I caught a pigeon. And I thought it was genuine. Right. When? When did the When did the Catholics uh, get invented? When? The, the Catholic Church started to think they were like God. When? When? And now they think they are God. Can you hear the question? When? 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 Yeah. When? It got off track. I don't know when it got off track. But you don't know when? A long time ago. So where do we start? Do we stop at Church Fathers or in, are they Catholic Church no, no. as well? In the, in the year, I would think in the year 1000, they were very off track already. So who was the first Pope? The first Pope? I don't know. I'm not Catholic. I don't care about Popes. Okay. Have, the Popes have no so value for me. Okay. So when? Well, you could be the Pope. It doesn't change anything. Were, were, the were they disciples of Jesus the Catholic? Pope, the Pope were they disciples of Jesus the Catholic? The Pope wears a nice dress, were disciples but he's not Catholic? better than you. Were they disciples of Jesus Catholic? The disciples of Jesus were not Catholic. No. They're not. They're not. not okay. Were the Church no. Fathers Catholic? The Church Fathers, not Catholic. They were yeah. not Roman Catholic. No, they lived all over the place. Were they Catholic or not? Not Roman Catholic. No. What types of Catholics are there? I'm mainly talking about Roman Catholic. So what's Church your? So what other Catholics Catholic. are there? Huh? What other Catholics are there? Uh, no, good. I don't know. So why are you so? When, when I'm talking about Catholic, I mean Roman Catholic. The books you bring are what Catholic, other Catholics are Roman there? Catholic. What other books. Catholics are okay. there? So there's probably no. What others. other Catholics are there? I don't care. No, no, you can't say. I asked you, are they Catholic? And you say, well, not Roman Catholic, but they're this type of Catholic. Yeah, and Catholic, the answer would be, no, no, the Catholic, answer would be, Catholic do you know any other types of Catholics other than Roman Catholics? Catholics means uh, what? What does the word mean? This is, this is your religion, mate. It's no, not mine. It's not. Well, I'm asking no, you a very. Yeah. I'm trying to understand when did the when did this Catholic Church become a thing? Because according to the Catholics, Peter was the first pope. No, that's right? not true. No, no, no. Okay. I could uh, claim uh, Peter was my granddad. That doesn't make it true. Okay. So the point here is, when did the Catholic start? Because you're dismissing everyone as a Catholic so far. Your evidence is Catholic evidence. Was John a Catholic? No, of course not. Right. So. What, how do we distinguish then what is Catholic manuscript and what is not Catholic manuscript? What is what uh, isn't Catholic manuscript? The, the, the manuscripts you brought up In, come from and guess what? the Catholic Church. Your your manuscripts emanate and, from that. Where does and, Texas Receptus come from? Uh, not from the Catholic Church. Where does it come from? From before the Catholic Church. Where from? Huh? Where from? Which manuscripts? Are you, 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 uh, no, you, I, you would to, know. You, you would seem know. to know, yeah. No, 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 you would know, because yeah. it's your, you believe the okay. KJV is reliable. Yeah. You, you, you dismiss the Catholics. Any manuscript that I mention is a Catholic manuscript. Yeah, it which, is. So it which is. manuscripts are not Catholic? It is factually true, though. So, so which manuscripts are not Catholic? It is factually true, though. The ones you mentioned are Catholic. And because they what were Catholic. What makes a manuscript Catholic? Because they were Catholic, they had a problem with the story of the adulterous woman. Why? They took it out. Why did they take it out? Because they had a problem with it. Why? Because they have, they have a hang up about sex. I, and what's the problem with that verse? Uh, they think that sex is the original sin. Yeah. The story about adulterous woman encourages people to do adultery. Why? Which actually it Why? doesn't. Why? Because Jesus said. How does that encourage adultery? Huh? So you know what's so ironic about because, all this, Chris? Because, because. Do you know what's so ironic about this, Chris? Because Jesus actually just forgives her. He says, go Why and didn't he stone her? Huh? Why didn't he stone her? He, why didn't he stone her? Yeah. Um, because his compassion. But he was without. Well, well, so yeah, so be, he could so have you, done it. So you, but he didn't do it. So you're saying he believed the Mosaic law, the laws of Moses. Yeah. But yet he didn't do them. No. That's the compassion of God. Jesus came specifically to show the grace that, of God. That's the compassion. The grace. He of didn't God. stone her because. He was compassionate. Yes. So he ignored God's command. Yeah, basically. He ignored God's command. Exactly. Or should I say, according to you, he ignored his own command. No, no. Yeah, exactly. There is a command that anyone right. caught in adultery or anyone blaspheming yeah. or anyone doing anything. Guys, guys. So the justice of God, obviously, it is clear that she should be stoned to death. And that's why the Jewish 
wanted her dead. Okay, the Jewish leaders. Right, 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 right. Now Jesus actually overruled all that by his compassion. Right. So, so you know the irony is this. You know the irony of what you're saying now to me, Chris. See, this verse in the New Testament good news, isn't could, be, could have been presented as evidence for original sin. And it is presented as evidence for original sin. He without sin cast the first stone, meaning you're all, we're all sinners. Yeah, they all, they all were, yeah, yeah, obviously. Yeah. They but were the problem, adult, adult males, right. they probably but, had all... But, but the problem I'm trying to understand about your argument, I'm trying to understand wrong. the premise of your argument, right? You're saying, you can't accept this manuscript because it's Catholic. You can't accept this because it's Catholic, yeah? What I want to know is, which manuscript... Oh, sorry, what is a Catholic? And when did they get created? And which manuscripts were they not responsible for? The, the Catholics, they got totally off track. Stop telling me, stop answering things I'm not... Absolutely. Chris, so Chris, Chris, Chris. I with don't all know respect, exactly when they got With all track. respect, you're ignoring my question. Because it's, it's not an honest question, I think. That's no, it's why a, I'm it's trying an, to... If I asked you when did Protestants start, what would you say? Sorry? If I asked you when did, when did Protestantism start, what would your response be? From the beginning. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, yeah, because we always go back to the scriptures. No, you don't. Yes, we no, do. you don't. The Reformation is when Protestant was well, formed. Well, that's when we got back to the original. No, no, that no. That's when you we cut, got rid of all the Catholic stuff. We right, got right. back to the so, original. No, no. What you claim is no, no, no. As an entity, Protestant came around with Calvin and Luther, the Reformation, and that's it. No. What I want to understand is how far back does the Catholics go? Because you're dismissing everything as Catholic well, so far. There was a church in Rome from the beginning. Was that Catholic? But, no, there wasn't. they got off track and became what we now call Catholic. It's a complete different situation now. There was no Vatican in just the beginning. Just a second. There was no Pope in the beginning. There's no Marys and all that nonsense in the beginning. Right. The Pope calls himself Holy Father. That's the name reserved for God. It's complete blasphemy what the guy does. So, get out of all these anti-Catholic problems and get back to Jesus. No, 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 no. Because this is eternal life. No, no, no. That you know, no, no. one true God no. and Jesus, oh, okay. the Messiah. But that, that verse okay. refutes you. But let's go back to my original point, yeah? Paul. Yeah? I'm making the claim Paul isn't reliable. His letters are not reliable. I don't believe he received any uh, inspiration or guidance from uh, God don't, or from Jesus. Don't worry is he in front of your camera? Ben, Ben. He's, he's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Public don't space. Worry. Yeah. The, the, Just have some manners. I'm the, doing work of Allah. Allah had given me permission to rule the world. Right, just, a, just as a witness, just, 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 rule the world. just for the cameras, Allah has given me permission when people talk about the bus, the just give me a second, right? I talk about the mental bus and crazy Christians that, that they should be on this bus, right? Here's a crazy Muslim that should be with them. You are benefits Yeah, manager. this is what we do, you see. When you we have Muslims acting manager. in such a manner, we call them out. Yeah, when we see Muslims mocking, we call the them out. Lies. This is a, Christians, this is how you deal with Pulan crazy speakers. Lies. Anyway, sorry, Chris. So, so my claim is Paul is Every not a reliable Muslim source of information. In UK have some respect. Are corrupt. Can you have some respect? Every respect. Committee are corrupt. Can you have some respect, please? And Allah have given me permission to rule the world. Uh, can you please? So rule then. Why are you here? I'm here. Yeah, that's and the world there. is destroyed. Can you have some manners? Then I will prepare a new world. For Jesus, I will right. prepare uh, okay. new world for Jesus. Can you have some respect? And I am the Messiah. God wipe my feet. God wipe I'm my gonna feet. I'm going to have to remove him. That means physically. I'm going to remove him. I I'm, I'm going to remove you. I'm going. I'm going. Anyways, the hadith are lies. They are not from Allah. They are lies. Copied from Torah and Bible. But these are lies. Only Quran is true. Only Quran is true. God have my friend, please, please, please. Me in the most. Please, I'm saying, I'm asking, I'm asking you nicely. Nobody could see more Allah. I'm asking you nicely. I saw Allah. Please, please. I know he's not. I know he's not. Nobody saw Allah except me. I talked to Allah. Okay. Allah said we traveled in one second. 300 meters. I don't know how much patience we can. 300 meters. I am the Messiah. I will prepare a new world for Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So we're talking about the reliability of Paul. Okay. 
No, you believe the whole narrative about Paul, isn't it? Oh, go back to what I was saying, sorry. It was, yeah, we were talking about... Um, my claim is if you leave Paul out, you still have the same that was story. Claim, yeah. So my claim, first of all, is the New Testament is inconsistent within itself, yeah? I don't believe the Pharisees would have a problem with Jesus healing on the Sabbath. I, oh yeah, that's what we were doing. Let's get back to what we were doing. Flip my neck. I was reading from Mark. All right, let me read that verse, sorry. Uh, right, let me go back to what I was saying. Got distracted yeah, so many Matthew, places, Matthew 3, right. but that's not where you want to be. No, no, yeah, look. I think it was Matthew 3.16. Uh, let me just, bear me, one second, one second. It's John 3.16. No, Matthew, 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 Matthew. 3, one, Matthew 3, sorry. When he had been baptized. Right, right, let me just, let me just, no, no, Matthew 3. Okay, so basically, just for the, just for the benefit of the crowd, um, I made a claim that I believe there's an internal historical inconsistency within the New Testament. Yeah, the New Testament in the Gospel of Mark, in verse three, says this. Another time, sorry, chapter three. Another time, Jesus went into the synagogue, and a man with a shriveled hand was there. Some of them were looking for a reason to accuse Jesus, so they watched him closely to see if he would heal him on the Sabbath. Jesus said to the man with the shriveled hand, "Stand up in front of everyone." Then Jesus asked them, "Which is lawful on the Sabbath? To do good or to do evil? To save life or to kill?" But they remained silent. He looked around at them in anger and deeply distressed at their stubborn hearts and said to the man, stretch out your hand. He stretched it out and his hand was completely restored. Then the Pharisees, remember this word, Pharisees went out and began to plot with the Herodians how they might kill Jesus. Okay, so the claim I made is this. According to the Gospel of Mark, the Pharisees wanted to kill Jesus for healing on the Sabbath. Agreed? Yeah. Are you happy with that explanation? Well, that's the if you on face value, that's the first conclusion you can okay. come to. Yeah. So, what's the what's the verse saying? The verse is saying that um, Jesus, for the reason of healing on the Sabbath. Yeah. The Pharisees wanted to kill him for it. Yeah. Okay. Is healing on the Sabbath a Pharisee teaching or not? Historically. Um, working on the Sabbath is against That was the my law. question. What was my question? Yeah, okay. I, I'm not, I haven't finished yet. I'm thinking right, about go, it. Go, go, I'm go, asking go, go, go. you. Go on then. He said, working on the Sabbath is against the law, the Ten Commandments, okay? So if you would interpret interpret healing somebody as working, then you shouldn't do it on the Sabbath. Okay? Did the Pharisees teach healing something somebody on the uh, Sabbath breaks the Sabbath and is wrong? I don't... Did they have a problem with healing on the Sabbath or not? It's a question. By, by the narrative, they had a problem with it. Historically, I said. Well, that's my answer. No, no, I'm not asking, I'm asking you historically, yeah, according to rabbinical teachings, is healing on the Sabbath prohibited? Okay, I don't think we have rabbinical teachings from that time. The but we know what the, we know what they are. No, we don't. The rabbinical teachings that we have are from after that time. Oh, okay. So most of the rabbinical teachings come from Babylon. Okay. okay. By years rabbinical teachings, after. I'm referring to the teachings of the Pharisees. Yeah. Okay. We don't have that from that time. Then we do. No, we don't. We do. Why, why do you mean don't, we don't? I don't think. I don't think we do. Face you. Oh, right, right, right. All right, all right. And that's the main camera, isn't it? These are the side angles. All right. All right. So, so I don't so, so, think we have the rabbinical teaching from that time. So, and I'm not an expert on rabbinical teaching. Let me teach you something. The Pharisees not only had no problem with healing on the Sabbath, the Pharisees believed it was compulsory to save a life on the Sabbath rather than keep the Sabbath. Yeah, okay. But that's first thing. That is, that is a statement first thing. based on information from first thing. after. First thing, first thing. No, that's from after that time. First thing, first okay. thing. Second thing, there's a complete com uh, permission, even if it's not life-threatening injury, 
that you can heal on the Sabbath. The point I'm making is this. Oh, and I see, here's the problem. You don't know anything. That's the reality. You think no, history. That's, that's ridiculous. Where, where'd you get your history from then? They other than the New anything. Testament. I know, I, I, that's a ridiculous statement. Well, well, you keep saying things yeah, that I'm, are not true. I'm saying that most of the rabbinical teaching we have yeah. is from after the time of Jesus. Okay. Where do so you... everything Jesus did and everything that's in the gospel is refuted by the rabbinical teaching that came later. No. Because, no. because the no, rabbinical teaching no, was against Jesus no, and the gospel. No, no, yes. no. Uh, well, okay. So you unless... say, are you saying the Pharisees? Well, okay. Let me just. You're, no, you're saying the rabbinical teaching is after Jesus. So was Jesus a rabbi? Yes, but not. He was a rabbi. The rabbinical teaching that referred to is from after Jesus. So it is. Where did you get that from? Who told you that? That is common. Based on what? When did they write all this rabbinical teaching down? Are you saying to me, in the time of Jesus, the Pharisees did not have their laws? They, the, the rabbinical teaching that you oh, okay, refer uh, to okay. was not written down okay. at well, that time. Uh, okay. What do you think the Dead Sea Scrolls are? That's an interesting question. Well, what do you think they are? Well, no, they're a collection of all sorts of books. Do you mean the whole collective? The Qumran Scrolls, what are they about? There, there are, in the Dead Sea Scrolls, we find prophets like Isaiah. So, okay. what are you asking making exactly? You. So, the, what, what you find in the Dead Sea Scrolls is the community of the Essenes, yeah. who, who were zealots of the time. Yeah. This is one theory. No, this is fact. Okay. They were zealots of the time, and they, they have all their laws written down. Okay. Yeah, but they were not rabbinical Jews. No, the Essenes. What, okay, okay. What I'm saying to you is this: if the Essenes, before Jesus, had this information. Why are you assuming the Pharisees and the Sadducees of the time of Jesus didn't have anything written down? I'm questioning that what you what you present as rabbinical teaching. I'm questioning the dating okay, of that. Let me change the word teaching. rabbinical to Pharisee. Yeah, that's... The Pharisees had no issue with healing on the Sabbath. That's your statement. But where do you get that from? I yeah. think I think you right, get well, that from you know, you know after what, you know, Jesus. The problem is, the problem is you don't know this information. Fair enough. No, but you don't. You don't okay. present it. If what I'm saying is true, if what I'm saying is true, because I can't prove it's true right now. No, if, it, no. If if Jesus healed on the Sabbath and no, no, no. The, the gospel writes there was no. a problem, no, no, no. Then somebody later said there no. wasn't a problem. No, 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 you no. believe the later no, one? No, 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 no. No, you should believe the first one. No, no. I'm arguing the gospel is the first one. Okay. Your I'm arguing. Later. I'm arguing the Pharisees had no issues with Jesus. That's what I'm arguing. Sorry. I have no evidence for that. Well, we do have evidence for it because why did Galamiel, the leader of the Pharisees, Gamaliel. yeah, why huh? did he, the leader of the Pharisees? Petition for the release of the companions of Jesus in the in the Sanhedrin. If they wanted to kill Jesus and his message, why did they get his companions to be released? Well, it says clearly why he said that. Why? Isn't it? Why? Remind me. He said, "If this is from God, we cannot stop it anyway." Right. What does yeah. that mean? It means the the the, uh, the Pharisees had no issues with someone claiming to be the Messiah. It wasn't a problem for the Pharisees. No. The Pharisees, in fact, were waiting for the Messiah. And they were, they were waiting to see, is he going to do what the Messiah should do? Yeah. The person who has a problem with, the, with the, the Messiah is the Sadducees. The Sadducees are Rome's representative in, in, um, in Judea. Therefore, because what happened? The, the Romans abolished Jewish monarchy. By claiming to be the Messiah, you were claiming the kingship of David. Therefore, you're going against Roman rule. And the Sadducees were Rome's representative. Therefore, it was a th to claim to be the Messiah was a threat to the Sadducees. It was no threat to the Pharisees because they were wanted the Messiah. And there was four different people who claimed to be the Messiah. And they were waiting to say, well, let's see if they do what they do. So yeah, the point I'm making is this, the point I'm making is this. You just do this research, please. I can't prove this right now. I'll go on to Paul in a minute. But you, can't, you have to do this research and ask yourself this question. Whenever you read the Gospels, Jesus is teaching Pharisee teachings. He's never saying anything against what the Pharisees believe. He never gives a reason for the Pharisees to want to kill him. The only people who would want to kill him are the Sadducees. I disagree. He said a lot against the Pharisees. No, no. In the end. It doesn't make sense if he says but this against the Pharisees 
when the if you read the Gospels with with an open heart and you you look at the things Jesus says that the Pharisees are supposed to be upset with, you'll come to the conclusion why are they upset? Why are they upset? When they don't have a problem with healing on the Sabbath. They don't have a problem with someone calling them the Messiah. Why are they upset? The only people who would be upset is who? The Sadducees. Okay. I'll explain why. Because so. I am telling you now, this is my claim, and I've given you my premise, and you're going to have to research my premise. Whoever wrote the Gospels edited Pharisees into a place where Sadducees should be. Because it's the Sadducees who had a problem with Jesus, because he was claiming Messiahship, which is claiming to be King of the Jews. He was apparently crucified as King of the Jews by the Romans who only crucify rebels. The punishment of crucifixion was only for rebels. You don't crucify anyone for blasphemy. You, the Romans don't care about blasphemy, but you, you crucify them for claiming kingship because Caesar is king of Judea, not no Messiah. So this is the first thing. Now, the second problem now brings Paul into the situation. How can Paul claim to be a Pharisee and then claim to be hunting Christians when we've just seen the leader of the Pharisees in the Sanhedrin petition for the release of these people? No problem. Okay, again, you come with a very Catholic, Roman Catholic stop, stop picture. That. I'm, I'm because you say, my, you say, Gamaliel was the leader okay. of the of the my Pharisees. My information I'm giving you right now is from a Jew. No, you you fill it all in in that way. Gamaliel, you say, is the leader of the Pharisees. Was he or not? He was a teacher of the Pharisees. Was he the leader or not? No, no. I'm saying he was a teacher of the Pharisees. Was he a leader? So, he wasn't the leader. He wa who was the leader? They had many teachers. Who was the leader? They had no teacher. No leader. Stop, stop. No. They, did, they did have a leader. No, they had. Teachers, okay. not a leader. I, I, I need to ask you another question now. The, the, the other than the New the Testament, okay. Other than the New not Testament, a dictatorial sort of system. Other than the New Testament, where do you get your information from with regards to what was going on in the time of Jesus? What other sources are you taking from? Other than the New Testament. Well, I think I would think there's quite, there's a few. No, what are you taking uh, from? To get a picture. No, what are you from taking Josephus from? Flavius Josephus. The, 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 the book of the Maccabees is helpful. There's probably other. The Ebionites. The Ebionites. The Ebionites. I think they were quite a bit later, isn't it? The Ebionites? I think so, yeah. Do you know who the Ebionites were? Oh, yeah, but they, they came... They, they, they had their heyday 500 years later or something. No, no, but the Ebionites were just descendants of the Nazarenes. And the Nazarenes were the disciples of Jesus. The Nazarenes were... The ones who, followed, okay. the ones who were Jews, so, who followed so the Christ. Already, I say they came a lot later. You say they were the disciples of the disciples of... Okay, so that's a lot later. Okay. No, the, the, the works and the writings of the Ebionites... Yes. So you don't believe the Ebionites are around in the time of Paul? No, I don't believe that. No. You don't believe that? Although there may be people that came before so the Ebionites. So, so one, one of your church historians quotes from their paperwork about Paul. In the year 300 or so, yeah? When he or quotes, later. When he quotes, yeah, what, are, are you saying that uh, the Ebionites didn't know anything? I'm not saying that at all. You kind of are. You're, you're dishonest. I'm, I'm, saying the, I'm the, saying the Ebionites were a lot later, okay. so you well, can't the use them. No, no, the Ebionites. You can't use them as authority on something that happened hundreds no, of years ago. The Ebionites before. were the Nazarenes. Well, but they were. You said they were the descendants of the Nazarenes. Well, so let, let's let's so um, let's, let's, go back. Let, let's let's get the dates. Well, but, were the Ebionites so Catholic? I'm saying, no, they were definitely not Catholic. Not Catholic. Okay, good. That much is clear. All I right. think finally we can agree on something. So you believe Paul was a Pharisee? He had been a Pharisee, but he became a Christian. And he was working with the Sadducees? He was, why do you think he was working with the Sadducees? Well, who did he get the authority to hunt Christians from? From the Sanhedrin, I suppose. No. From the... From the who? The Sanhedrin, I from suppose. From the high priest. Who, who is in the Sanhedrin? I suppose the high priest. Uh, the high priest is a Sadducee. Always. Okay, now the Sanhedrin is of course a collection no, of... the Sanhedrin is like a parliament, I get that. Yeah. But the, the high priest is a Sadducee. It was one of the, one of the Sanhedrin. No, the yeah. high priest yeah. was a Sadducee. Yeah. And Paul petitioned the high priest to give him authority to hunt Christians. Okay. So you're claiming a Pharisee petitioned a Sadducee to give him authority, listen to this, to, get, listen to, this, to give him authority to go to a land where he had no authority to arrest Christians. No, 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 the, where he had no authority. In many cultures, people of a particular group had had their own laws. 
like during the Ottoman times, yep. the Jews could govern themselves. Okay, I'll say it again okay. to you. So that that Paul had authority in Damascus, there were lots of Jews. No, 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 no. So that Paul you know, did, did get did authority. The, did the high priest have authority in Damascus? Yes. No. He could. No, he can have had because a oh. lot of no. You, you, you project our modern times back in the days. Okay. Uh, no, Even uh, in the Ottoman days, the days of uh, the Ottomans, uh, I'm asking Armenians in different cities. What authority would did a high priest of Judea have in Damascus? Because, based upon what? No, no, they had authority Why? because it was given to them. By who? By the Roman Emperor, by the Roman Empire. So, you think so geographically, but if you think... Oh, the high priest of Judea had no, no authority in Damascus. No, you had different... No. Damascus had its own autonomy. No, no, no. Yes. The, 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 the so, your premise resting on the idea that... Um, Saul was a Sadducee, it's completely fanciful. Why? Yeah. Because there is no evidence for that at all. I'll just give you the it is it is sort of like if, if it said is like true. conspiracy thinking. No, not at all. Like he says he's a Pharisee, you take it the other way around. No no no. But your assumption the, is no, your assumption is I'll explain how it works. Your assumption is I'll, I'll explain how that it works. Pharisees and Sadducees never work together. I'll, I'll explain how it works. But they did. No, they hated each other. What are you talking about? Yeah, they but, hated each other. Uh, well, some of them did, but no, some no, of them no. worked together. The Sadducees and the Pharisees hated each other. Uh, no, no, well, well, they you get this idea there was some amicable they thing. They disagreed. They hated each other. Why, why do you think that? Because because the, the Pharisees want... Um, what evidence do you have that they I'll hated each other? I'll give it to you. The Pharisees wanted Roman rule removed from Jerusalem, and the Sadducees maintained Roman rule. Yeah, and there's nothing in between that. Of course, there's a lot of collaboration. The, the Romans were tyrannical in Jerusalem, yeah, burning but, Jewish monarchy. Yeah, but they were there, isn't so, it? So, so this is a place on the verge of rebellion, right? You've got, you're telling me that those people who love the Romans got on with the people who hated the Romans. So you have developed, there's this, your, there's my you have developed this conspiracy theory and that's No, all. no, no. It's there not, is no evidence no, for no, this. No, no, no. It's very, very simple. If the ones who loved the Romans hated the ones who um, who uh, sorry who hated the Romans? Yeah. Well, you need to do your historic research. Oh, no, this really, it to, oh, no, 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 this no. really is just a the beautiful thing is this. I'll explain the beautiful, the beautiful thing about this. You see, this setup. I will do my research. Yeah. yeah. I will bring references. I'll present them on screen. You check out my channel, Hamza's Den. You can see this video. I'll give you an option to respond. You can come on the channel. You want to refute anything I've said? It's not a problem. Oh, All right. I'd be but happy I'm to look at your presentation and see if it actually, exactly. if there are actually facts present, underlying I'm this. I'm going to present evidence for everything I say, and then it's for you then to question it. Because if what I'm saying is true, you've got a problem. If what I'm saying is true, agreed? Maybe I have a problem. Maybe not. No. If, let's see. No, what if what I'm saying is true, then you do have a problem. How? Because it will demonstrate inconsistent internal inconsistencies. Oh yes, that, your oh yeah. Then you would demonstrate that the Bible has been changed, or that the Gospels have been changed. Not just not just changed, edited. But if you're manipulated, theory, if you're, yeah, okay. That's basically the point you're making. Now, if that's the point you're making, you already disagree with the early Christians, centuries of early Christians. Why? Didn't say that. The Quran doesn't say that. Early Muslims didn't say no, don't, that. Don't do that. Don't do that. But now, Chris, 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 now, right, let's modern, do with Paul. Let's modern do with Paul. Let's, atheistic let me do with Paul. thinking. So, so let, let, me further, let, let, me, let me further, let me, let me, let me further dig into Paul now. Okay. So, let me further dig into Paul now. But right. Present that. So Paul, right? Was he teaching Jews? They're not justified by the law anymore. He was teaching the gospel. Was he teaching Jews? They're no longer justified by the law. They're no longer justified by the law. Was, was he teaching Jews this then? He was teaching. He was mainly teaching pagans, wasn't he? Was he teaching Jews? They're no longer justified by the law. I think he was mainly teaching pagans. No, my question is this: Was he teaching Jews that they're no longer justified by no the law? No longer justified by the law. That they were never justified by the law. They were justified by the law before. Were they? Well, that's what Paul says. Okay. So Paul's teaching Jews before we were justified by the law, but now the Christ 
the law the, 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 the law was a curse for us and now Christ has become the curse are you a Jew me I'm Muslim yeah. mate. no no I mean no ethnically or no I'm English mate. Okay. Ang Anglo-Saxon okay so Celtic so, Norman so, Viking no, no, okay. who knows so <laughs> what applies to Jews doesn't apply to you anyway that's not my point okay that's not my point okay See, you, you got to follow my argument. Okay. I'm making an argument which has a conclusion based upon a premise. And what you need to do is see, first of all, does the conclusion follow the premise? Then my argument is valid, then you have to respond to the whole argument. What you need to do then is challenge the premise for my argument. If you can collapse my premise, then you collapse my argument. If you can't collapse my premise, you've got a problem. That's no, what I say. No, I'm saying it's, it's a big difference if you are actually a Jew no, or if you're not. Wouldn't matter. Wouldn't because matter. you said the Jews were justified by the law. No, no, no. The you Jews... were not the Jews, so you weren't justified uh, by the law anyway. Oh, 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 I'll say it again to you. Paul was teaching Jews that they're no longer justified by the law and now we're justified in the Christ because yeah. he's become the curse for us yeah because that's what Paul teaches in Galatians 3 clearly agree mm -hmm. Paul also says I think it's in Corinthians I think it's Corinthians where he says uh, was it Corinthians or Romans one of his letters where he says um, I become under to those under the law I become under the law even though I myself am not obedient to the law. And to those out of the law, I become, okay. okay. Yeah. So that's what Paul, so we know Paul is going definitive. He's not under the law. And not only is he not under the law, he's telling Jews they no longer need to be under the law. Yeah? Can we establish a principle or you want to contest that? No, see where you're going no, no, with no, this. No, 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 no. Do you accept no. that premise I'm saying first? No, 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 I don't see a reason to jump in now and say you're wrong or something. It's Carry on with your train of thoughts. Oh, okay. What did the disciples of Jesus think of Paul doing this? But uh, the, the, the other disciples, Peter, John, James. Yeah, they, they were obviously they were obviously focused on Jerusalem. They're Jewish. No. What, what did they? How did they respond to this claim? Um, it's an interesting point because they had a they had a council about it, the Council of Jerusalem. No, how no. Do we... Council of Jerusalem was about how to deal with the Gentiles. No. Okay, that clarifies that you are asking me something. Just bear me a second, sorry. Yeah, okay. I don't know who's calling me. Who's calling me on a bloody Sunday? Oh. Oh. Sorry, bro. Sorry to. Uh, I'm in speaker's corner, man. No, not today. We'll do book club tomorrow, isn't it, though? Oh, okay, inshallah. Yeah. So, forget the Council of Jerusalem. Council of Jerusalem was how to deal with... Uh, ironically, even the Council of Jerusalem is against them, against Paul at this point. Because the question is being asked is, do these Gentile converts to, um, to Christianity, to follow the Christ, yeah. do they need to keep the laws of Moses? So there's never a question about Jews not keeping the law. The question is, do Gentiles need to keep the law? So the Council of Jerusalem was convened and decided, no, they don't need to keep the laws of Moses. They just Actually, need to... I disagree with that. You disagree with what? That you say the Council of Jerusalem said that they don't need to keep the law of Moses. The Council of Jerusalem carefully checked the law of Moses. No, they didn't. And yes, they did. Well, and came to the conclusion that they came to. Well, how did they come to the conclusion? They came to the conclusion that they, those um, non-Jewish people that became Christian didn't have to do anything but not why? no idolatry. Why though? why though? I've already told you why. I'm just... No, no, why, why did they come to that conclusion? They came to this conclusion. I'm giving you four points go and then I'll tell you why. Go on, go on, go on. Came to the conclusion to say no adultery, yeah. no blood, no uh, yeah. nothing away. sacrificed to idols and, and no idolatry. No sexual immorality. It's sexual immorality. All right. Those four, those four points yeah. come from the law of Moses. No. But yes, they no, do. No, they don't. Oh, yes, they do. They come from before Moses. They come from no, the no, 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 no. Oh. They come from the law of Moses. I think you're mistaken. You Go listen on. to Go the Go Jewish on. propaganda. So if you know the law of Moses, you know where it came from. Okay. So they clearly considered the law of Moses carefully, came to this conclusion according to the law. No, you're wrong. What they did, they looked in the time of the Israelites and they looked at how did the people of the, of, how did the Israelites deal with Goyim amongst them? Yeah. Yeah? And that's, and, that's, in, well, the, well, that's well, in the law of well, Moses. One second, one second. 
How did they deal with the Goyim? How did they deal with the non-Jews? And the Jews who lived around the Israelites, th these were the four things, sexual morality, sacrifice, and so, and so what the disciples convene, what their, their conclusion of the Council of Jerusalem is, is no, they don't have to follow the laws of Moses, but they do need to keep these yeah, four things. According, which is a no-hide law. No, no, I'm saying, no, it's not the no-hide law. It's laws. not no-hide law. Those four things yeah. are in the law of Moses okay. for those who live amongst the Jews. Oh, oh, okay. okay. Anyway, this so, particular point... So they didn't just make it up. But this, I didn't say they made it up. No, no, okay. I'm saying they checked the law carefully. But I didn't say they made it up. Uh, you didn't, indeed. I, d I said they. Such strong man in me. <laughs> I could have done what no, I could have. I could have. It's a literary construction. I'm not accusing you. No, no, no. No, but you're acting like I said something that was wrong, and you're correcting me. Yeah, you said something wrong. You what said, did I say? You referred. You said it came from the Noahide laws. I said it no, comes. No, no. It, it okay. comes from the law that, of Moses. That, uh, look, look. I have a motto in this park, right? I never lose. I win or I learn. So either I demonstrate my point if is you, correct. One second, if second. you become a Christian, you win. No, listen. I, can de I, I demonstrate my point is correct. Forgiveness of listen, sin. Listen, listen, listen. I demonstrate my point is correct, or I learn something that I didn't know. Okay. So I win. I can't, I can't never lose. All right, all right. So here's the point. You come to Jesus, but, then you but, will win. But this, is a, but this particular yeah. thing you're making... Huh? The, the point I'm making is this particular principle, or you're referring to the Council of Jerusalem, is a complete red herring. It's got nothing to do with the point I'm making. The point I'm making you, and the question I asked you, is this. How did the disciples of Jesus react to Paul's teaching Jews they're no longer justified by the law? That was my question. Council of Jerusalem is about Gentiles coming to Christ. I'm talking about Jews coming to Christ, Paul teaching them they no longer need to keep the law. I'm asking you, how did the disciples of Jesus respond to that? Yeah, okay, you're asking me, but I'm not, I'm not a Jew, obviously. So what I, haven't your, how does particularly, your oh, okay. I haven't particularly studied that subject because brilliant, brilliant. as I don't meet a lot of Jews, I don't really, it's not something I really had to investigate. Brilliant. Okay. So you don't understand the ramifications of it? Maybe I do, but... Well, if the disciples of Jesus rebuked Paul for what he was doing, told Paul to take the Nazarite vow to demonstrate you're still under the obedience of the law. Mm -hmm. Then Paul was teaching a different thing to what the disciples of Jesus were teaching. And the claim being made is that Paul was getting his, his information from Jesus in a 10 years of revelation. Yeah. Now the disciples of Jesus walked with Jesus, ate with Jesus, sat with him, witnessed his miracles, heard his parables, heard the explanations to his parables, were they in the day of Pentecost when they were filled with the Holy Spirit and were leaders of the church in Jerusalem. Yeah. And what you're saying to me, so one of these two parties is wrong. I, I think you are wrong in your go understanding on, go on, go on, go on. of those two parties. But it's a, it's a common misunderstanding, really to say, oh, now we are Christian, we don't have to keep the law, no, no, no. we don't have to do anything. That's red herring. Because, red no. herrings, red herrings. Uh, let me get no, to no, the no. point. Do you agree? Let me get to the point. No, no. I, I haven't finished. No, but please. you've already demonstrated you no. strong on my position. No, no, no. I'm say, no, I want to clarify the teaching of Jesus. He, if you read the beginning of Matthew, he nearly always refers to the law and the prophets. I'll say that again to you. So, when Paul teaches... Chris. Chris, so, let's make it easy for you. So, We've already established so, Paul was teaching this thing, yes? So, Paul also teaches us to obey God. So, the commandments of Jesus are important. So, Jesus already refers to the law, and therefore... Did the disciples of Jesus believe they were justified by the law? But, you are not saved by the law. Did the, is that what the disciples of Jesus believed? You are saved by the grace of what, God. So no, the, you are saved to eternal life by the grace of Chris, God expressed in Jesus Chris, Christ. Is it, now, when, is you that are, what the disciples told when you are saved, you don't want to disobey God anymore. So you're going to keep his commandments. Okay? So the idea that when you are saved from your sin, you can do whatever you want is nonsense. You're saved from your sin so you don't sin again. Okay? So when you don't sin, you keep the commandments of God. That's the whole point. Okay? Chris, you're a dishonest man. No, I'm trying to help you. Uh, no, I'll I'm tell you why you're to help you to win. I'll tell you why you're dishonest. So you can come to Jesus no, no, and win Chris, Chris, eternal life. I'll tell you why you're dishonest. You said you've never looked at this. You've never looked at this. You never looked at the reaction of the disciples of Jesus to Paul teaching this. And now you're trying to do exegesis on something, eisegesis on something that you've not read. Of, of course I've read it. I haven't particularly checked the, 
the, right. the Jewish position right. on it. So, so, because you're not Jewish, uh, I'm not so, Jewish, so, so it doesn't matter uh, to okay, us. No, no. But what what does matters matter? to you no. is that you're saved no, no. by the grace of no, God. No, no, that's not what matters. And that you that's then, not what matters. That you then that's obey God. That's not what matters. Of course it matters. That's not what matters. This is eternal life. No, Chris. You want eternal Chris, life? Chris, no, you're just preaching. But that's what matters. No, but no, you, no, no. no, no. But the what? point you're making is, I'm making is this. What matters is that... Did the disciples of Jesus teach the same as what Paul taught? This is what Jesus taught. Did the disciples of Jesus teach the same thing Paul taught? That's a irrelevant Did question. They? What matters is what Jesus taught. Please. I'll say it again to you. Okay. Who would know what Jesus taught? The 12 he chose to walk with him? Or the 11, should I say? Because Judas is gone. Or Paul? Yeah, the 12 in the first place. Of course. Now, right. So did they agree with the Paul? Did they agree with Paul on his teaching that Jews were no longer justified by the law? Or did they disagree? Um, as I said, I'm not a Jew, so I haven't checked that. I have checked what is relevant okay. to if they disagreed, Jews like me. If they disagreed, then you realize you've got a problem, isn't it? No, I don't have a problem because I'm not a Jew. And no, you don't have a problem because I no, no. Jew. If they disagree, you have a problem as a Christian. No. Yes. Because I'm not a Jew. Being Jewish is irrelevant. That's not why you've got a problem. No, you, you, the problem arises from being a Jew. Or what not? do you think the problem is I'm referring to? No idea. So how can you say you've got a problem? You don't know what the problem is. Well, you haven't said it yet. But why do you ask? Me? I still don't have. A, I won't have a problem anyway, but okay. feel you've got free two to, problems. You've got two problems. Feel free to talk me into you've having two no problems. problem. So the two problems you've got. If the disciples disagree with what Paul's teaching, then they're not in agreement. So whatever's teaching Paul is not Jesus. Yeah? First thing. Well, Se that's of first course thing. you can have first a disagreement and then an agreement. First thing. Or yeah, no, no. Whatever, but first thing. First thing. What, right. L let me sh demonstrate how this exposes Paul as a liar as a deceiver. I'll prove it. Paul, when he comes to Jerusalem. You're talking about Paul of Tarsus. The Saul Paul, of Tarsus. The Paul that wrote the Paul that you need, the Gospels, yeah? who is the Not lynch, another Paul. No, the Paul that is the linchpin of every denomination. Just be careful with the cameras, please. Every denomination of Christianity. Whether, whether you're a Protestant, a Catholic, a Presbyterian, a, a, a Jehovah's Witness, a Mormon, um, what a Quaker, whatever version. Be careful of the camera, my brother, my brother. Oh, yeah, the behind, behind you, Everywhere. behind you. Right. He's, a, he's a good what? friend. Is he a Christian? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you can help him. You want to help him? <laughs> he needs a little bit of help. <laughs> uh, okay. Whatever denomination you Christian you are, if Paul isn't reliable, you all collapse. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but you're not a Christian, and I say if you. Uh, how, do you how do you want us to do it now, for Cameron? Uh, all right, all right. I'm yeah. saying. You're, you're not a Christian. No. If you leave Paul out and you don't accept him, fine. That's not the problem. Still, still? You're avoiding the problem. No, for you, it is not a problem. The problem's not for me anyway. No, the problem's I'm for saying, you. The problem is for you that there is an offer of eternal life no, 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 and you're no, no. not accepting Forget the preaching. You have, you're not responding so, to the problem. So, without Paul, you can still be a Christian. No, you're missing, you're not understanding the problem. What is the problem? The problem you have is that Paul is a deceiver. No, that's not true at all. Well, I'll prove it. If Paul truly, on the road to Damascus, had a vision of Jesus, and he believes that this Jesus is telling him, you're a messenger now to the apostle, to the Gentiles, yeah? Right? And for 10 years, Paul receives information on his mission, all right? And then Paul starts preaching something that's against the disciples of Jesus and he goes to Jerusalem and he's welcomed by the brothers according to the Acts who's basically Paul's fangirl Luke yeah so he comes to Jerusalem and he welcomed by the brothers and he tells them the good works are done amongst the Gentiles and then the disciples of Jesus James Peter and John say to Paul welcome brother but there are thousands of Jews here who are zealous for the law who've come to Christ, who've heard that you're teaching Jews amongst the Gentiles, they no longer are justified by the law. Now here with us we have four men who are to take a vow. Go with them 
and pay for them and shave your heads yeah mm -hmm. to show that you are still obedient to the law and there's no truth in these reports about you so in layman's terms 21st century England Paul we've heard you're telling Jews they're no longer to be justified by the law so we need we, we can't believe what we're hearing here so just to show you're not saying this thing go take the Nazarite vow demonstrate you're still under the law and that will appease them okay now if Paul's genuine he should go yes brothers I know that was the way but on the road to Damascus I was told by Jesus that now this is the new way he would have told the disciples of Jesus his revelation he would have told them this new dispensation he would have told them that we don't wrong to keep the law you're wrong now I know what you believed when you were with Jesus was this but now I have an extra revelation and Jesus has told me that you don't need to do that anymore but he didn't say all that no no he didn't say all that did none he? of that okay so you but that's what you should expect you think he should have said that yes why do you think that okay because he's been accused of something that he's doing and the reason he's doing it because he believes Jesus has told him to do it and he's speaking to the disciples of Jesus who are telling him he's wrong for doing it and so he should correct them and tell them no this is what Jesus is teaching now but, uh, but, but why should he actually yeah. Oh, yeah. you say he should have told them that that's what we should expect but to see. I think he didn't. He shouldn't have told them that at all. It's just like this man here. Who was it? A bewitched man. Let me. Let me. He's show, one of your people. Let me show you something actually, which is uh, relevant to this. Uh, You should film that. Oh, it's blazing, man. Yeah. Are you about to turn water into wine? Are you, are you, are you an alcoholic? I you am. Want, I'm you, under burn. You want wine? A bit more, and I'll be ready. What have you done for this man? Okay. It's Christianity. This is, this is what this is. This is what Paul, the one you don't like, teaches Christians. Remind them to be subject to rulers and authorities, to obey, to be ready for every good work, to speak evil of no one, to be peaceable, gentle, showing all humility to all men. That's what a Christian should do. Okay. That's not what he's doing. You, but you're not, yeah, I agree. So we should take Paul more serious. No, no. The, not the, like the this. problem we have, you've got to respond to what I'm saying. But it's a, it's a sidetrack. I know, but I know. Because we were interrupt, interrupted anyway. I know, I know. Where, where were we? So what I'm saying is, if there's a disagreement between the disciples of Jesus and Paul, there's a problem. I think you read too much in... Sorry. I think you read too much in the disagreement. I don't think you've read it. People, people disagree. No, no. You can't and disagree then, about then, salvation. Then they can talk about it. You can't disagree about salvation. The okay. Core, the core so tenant of Jesus' teachings. clear. It is clear. When we talk about salvation, you are not saved because you are so good. You are saved because of the grace of God. I'll say it again to you. I'll say it again to you. Do you have? What type of You want to try and speak to him? Do you have? Why do all those Muslims go about? Because they see him as a white man. That is the only reason. What do you have in your brain? I remember a time when he used to speak to Victor, he wanted me to bring him a scarf and all sorts, but what happened to him? I forgot about the scarf. Anyway, so the point I'm making is this. Are you saying there was no disagreement? No, I'm saying... Was there a disagreement? I'm saying disagreements happen, but salvation is not because you do so much good. No, 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 no. You say it's because of grace. I said I think they agreed... Was there a disagreement? I think they agreed on this point. That's all Was there a disagreement on justified by the law? Just Chris, the hole is there. You're going in there. Holding on for your dear life ain't gonna help just, you. No, I'm just, telling you. No. You cannot you cannot 
for the life of you, argue there was no disagreement. You just can't. I'm not, no, I'm not saying... I'm, so there was a disagreement? I'm saying, on this point, sal yes. salvation, because right, you are right, mixing... Right, you are mixing, right, right, right. right. You so are who mixing, was right and who was wrong? You are mixing... Who was right and who was wrong? You are mixing right. concepts. Who was right and, and because, who was wrong? Because you are mixing those concepts, you... Chris. Don't get it. Chris, who was right and who was wrong? Was so, Paul right? So, was Paul right or were the disciples right? You are not right because you are mixing I didn't concepts ask that question. and that's why you don't get it. Was Paul right or were the disciples right? Because you are mixing the things up. Who was right? So, you have to do your homework and get Chris. the right concepts I'll, I'll say it again to you. the right thing. Uh, okay. okay, I'll make it easy. I'll make it easy. I'll make it easy. Salvation, I'll make it easy. salvation make it easy. is by grace oh, okay. alone. Let, let's break this you down. You are saved. No, no. Let's break this you down cannot, kindergarten style. You cannot, let's by do play doing school. good, listen, 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 listen. by doing good, you cannot become I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it easy. as good as God. I'm mentioning your preaching. I'm mentioning your preaching. You need salvation. I'm interested in your preaching. That's by grace preaching alone. Preaching will help you. Okay. Uh, Here's the question. I'm hoping it I hope it helps you. Did Paul teach because Jews are no longer justified by law, yes or no? Justified, Did he you teach say that? now. Are Did you talking about justification yes, yes. or about salvation? Same thing. No, it's not the same thing. It's the same thing. No, it's a different word. What, is, what does Paul mean by different justification? Meaning. Salvation is your saved. I read it? Oh my God, you Christians don't know your own scriptures. What? You don't Salva know your own scriptures. I'll read it, I'll read it. Chris, saved. Chris, 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 Chris. I'll read it for you. Justification means you're justified. Second. I'll read it for you. Come to Jesus. That's the only way to be saved. And once you're saved, you can worry about being justified. For all who rely on the works of the law are under a curse. As it is written, curses everyone who does not continue to do everything written in the book of law. Clearly, no one who relies on the law is justified before God, because the righteous will live by faith. The, the, law, will live by faith. the law is not based on faith. On the contrary, it says the person who does these things will live by them. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. For it is written, curse is everyone who is hung on a pole. He redeemed us in order that the blessings given to Abraham might come to the Gentiles through Christ Jesus, so that by faith we might receive the promise of the Spirit. Brothers and sisters, let me take an example from everyday life. Just as no one can set aside or add to a human covenant that has been duly established, so it is in this case. The promises are spoken to Abraham and to his seed. Scripture does not say and to seeds, meaning many people, but to you and your seed, meaning one person, who is Christ. What I mean is this, the law introduced 430 years later does not set aside the covenant previously established by God and thus do away with the promise. For if the inheritance depends on the law, then it no longer depends on the promise. But God in his grace gave it to Abraham through a promise. Why then was the law given at all? It was added because of transgression until the seed to whom the promise referred has come. The law was given through angels and entrusted to a mediator. A mediator, however, implies more than one party, but God is one. Is the law therefore opposed to the promises of God? Absolutely not. For if a law had been given that would impart life, then righteousness would certainly have come by the law. But scripture has locked up everything under the control of sin. So that was promised being given through faith in Jesus Christ might be given to those who believe. Before the coming of this faith, yeah? Before the coming of this faith, we were held in custody under the law, locked up until the faith that was to come would be revealed. So the law was our guardian until Christ came that we might be justified by faith. Now that this faith has come, we are no longer under a guardian. So in Christ Jesus, you're all children of God. For all of you who are baptized into Christ, have clothed yourselves with Christ. There is neither Jew nor Gentile, slave nor free, nor is a male or female, for you are all one in Christ. If you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and the heirs according to the promise. Now this here is what that the is Jews... fantastic though, isn't it? Yeah. You read it far too fast. You should... No, no, Slow don't worry, down. don't worry, it'll, it'll be on screen, uh, it'll be on screen. Yeah, but the point but I'm making is this. Just for your sake, Paul is you saying, read that Paul is teaching here, take it in. Paul is teaching here what the Jews in uh, Jerusalem have heard him teaching and they petitioned the disciples of Jesus and said, what are you going to do about this guy? So they've said to him, we've heard you saying this stuff and to show you're not saying this stuff, because we don't believe you're saying this, because you're stupid to say it, basically. This is completely opposed to what we believe. Oh, no, no, no. Again, that's like a conspiracy theory. You no, presents. no, no. Okay, no, no, this I won't is, paraphrase. This is the teaching. Uh, all right, I won't this paraphrase. This is the teaching of I won't paraphrase. He refers, he refers to Moses. He refers to Why Abraham. Why did they tell him to do the Nazarite vow? He refers to Moses. Okay, first thing, say, what is the Nazarite vow? He refers to Moses. He refers to Abraham. What is the Nazarite so, vow? Paul bases his Chris, teaching Chris, Chris, on Abraham. Chris, 
Chris, Chris, and on Moses. Chris, Chris, Chris. Okay. What is the Nazarite vow? Ah, it's again in the law of Moses. It's what was the purpose of it? The purpose is a, a, a specific commitment, I suppose, to, uh, to, to serve the Lord. To what? I don't, to what? I don't know. But it, so you don't know what the Nazarite vows are? I, I do. I do know, but I don't have it ready to present to you. Give what me an is idea. Nazarite vow. It's things like not drinking alcohol, not shaving your hair, and things like that. So, again, it's a, it's a, it's a conspiracy theory. No. What? Yes, because you connect something Paul says to something that happened somewhere else. The connection is missing in the reality. What is the Nazarite vow for? That's not connected to what is what you just read. It is. No, it's it's not. It is. He's told to take the Nazarite vow yeah, the, because of what he said. That's on another occasion. What he's explaining here. No, 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 here, no, 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 no. What no, he's no. explaining no, no, here. No, no, listen, listen. What, no, what you raised. I'll, I'll, I'll explain what you to you. Raised, I'll tell you what I read. What you raised through. What did I read? Far too fast. Is really good. It reminds us of the promises of God and how God will save us. That's good news, isn't it? Aren't these guys going to clash with those? <laughs> but. Uh, Anyway. It's taking quite a long time. Can we, can we get to a conclusion? Uh, oh, okay. So the okay, yeah, I'll give you the conclusion. Do you want me, do you want me to conclude it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. It's, it's, Here's my conclusion to my argument. Paul is clearly teaching something that the disciples of Jesus were not teaching to show that he had to prove he was still under the law. So because the disciples made him prove he was still under the law, they believed you should be still under the law as a Jew. He was teaching the opposite. So there's a disagreement between Paul and Jesus. Sorry, because Jesus is represented, as you said, with the disciples. And they're at odds with Paul on this issue. Now, here's the problem you've got. Paul claims Jesus told him this. The disciples of Jesus claim Jesus told them that, and they're believing different things. Now, the bigger claim and the bigger problem is that they've both got the Holy Spirit, yet the Holy Spirit's doing nothing. No one's getting corrected. No one's getting led, yeah? They're in a dispute. You've got a problem, okay? For me, this is evidence and an argument against the existence of the Holy Spirit. Complete, ex complete argument against it. it. If the Holy Spirit existed, then the Gospel writers wouldn't have inconsistencies, wouldn't be historically incorrect, wouldn't have contradictions. They would have been corrected also. We don't see it, yeah? If the Holy Spirit existed, then all these different types of Christians should all believe the same thing because they've got God inside them. But we don't see that. So uh, the argument for Holy Spirit uh, again, existing is been refuted is, by everything I've said. This is a complete misunderstanding of who the Holy Spirit what is. What have I misunderstood? How the Holy Spirit what have I misunderstood? But I would Tell like, me the job of the Holy I, Spirit and I, show I, me in I action. Would, I would like to keep... Victor! I would, that's the Holy Spirit. No, no, no. He's completely out of it's control. Whiskey. He's out of control. He needs to learn self-control. Oh, no. I called his name. But, I've uh, sparked but, it off. I would like to... I would, I would rather talk about that another time. If, if, Chris. Because I think that's... Again, it's based on a lot of misunderstandings. When are you here next? I'm nearly here nearly every All Sunday. Right, I'm not. 23rd of October, I'm back. Right? And I want you to watch this. Check out, you know, do you know my channel? Hamza's Den. All right, take that down know, as well. Right? It's, the one. it's the only one. <laughs> it's brilliant. I know, I know. So much information, so much references. The conversation is always polite, it's nice. Chris is still a no, bit of a pigeon, I won't be, uh, I but won't, he's not too bad. I won't be here the 23rd. You're not here the 23rd? Why not? Probably not. Why? Because I'm abroad. Oh, were you going to have a nice? Huh? I'm planning to go to Qatar, inshallah, for the World Cup. If I can pull it off. No, I'm going to Holland. Oh. Um, so, try another time. Uh, but it, because we have so many subjects, and actually, it all needs, it needs time to... Get to the bottom. But everything I've said boils down to what I've just said. There's no such thing as a Holy Spirit that guides and corrects you. I think that's all based on complete misunderstanding. I think you'll be wrong. I think you'll find you wrong. Yeah. But research it. Of course. Because every because if, course if, if a Holy Spirit. A bit one thing. He's not doing what you want him to do. It doesn't mean he doesn't exist. That means you got it wrong. Okay. I'll say it again to you. We're told the Holy Spirit corrects and leads into guidance. We don't see none of it in the Gospels. Oh, yeah. We don't see none of it between Paul and the disciples. Oh, yes. We don't see anything amongst oh, the denominations yes. of Christianity. Oh, yes, the only don't. time I see the Holy Spirit is when Christians are crazy. Yeah, it's the only time I see it. Sorry, what? The only time I see a manifestation of something that could be a Holy Spirit is when Christians like Victor. No, that is not the Holy Spirit. That is complete lack of No, 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 but I think it is. 
I think that's it. No, no. I, that's I the manifestation. No, I think this is blasphemous what you say now. I disagree. If it's the Holy Spirit, then yeah, that this, is, this cannot uh, yeah, be yeah. from God. I don't believe the Holy Spirit exists, what you're saying. I don't believe it. Well, maybe you don't know right. him. doesn't mean he doesn't exist. Okay. I'll tell you what we'll do, Chris, because I do like you. What we'll do, how about this? How about, keep it on a second, one second. I'll hold it then. Okay, what we'll do is this. Uh, shall I take your contact detail then? To find out when you're here next. And we'll have a topic. Otherwise I'll just block you. Why would I spam you? Some people do. I've got no... I've got no... Do you know who I am? Good. Do you want me to give you my uh, WhatsApp? Do you, shall I give you my WhatsApp? Well, let me put it in there for you. Uh, Hamza, my YouTube channel is Hamza's Den. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so if I may, I'll do this in my email as well, yeah? See that Hamza's Den? That's my YouTube channel, yeah? I want you to respond to what's been said, though. Sorry? I want you to respond to, to all the things I've said. Do you get me? I'll even invite you all. I'll tell you what we can do, you know, if you want. We could do it online. No, I don't have time for all that. Just, uh, I've, got, I've got a life, you know. I have things to do. Right, so that's my email, yeah? Okay. And that's my phone number. Yeah, I don't expect too much from me online or during the week because I really... No, all, all I want to do is make sure when I come here next, you're here. That we have, that and we know what we're talking about. It's useful, yeah, that we know what we're talking about. That we have a subject and we can sort of focus on something rather than go all over the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let, me, let me show you my latest research, yeah? So you might have seen this, I don't know. I mean, the books I'm going to show you. So I'm, I'm going to help you out here. See, these are my books I'm reading at the moment. Oh, that's where you get it from. That's the source of all that conspiracy. Or truth. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I haven't read them. I don't know. No, I know, I know, I know, I know. I, know. I haven't read it. I'm just learning. I'm learning, but I'm testing things out. Now, most of what I'm saying to you, you've never heard before. You've heard Paul wasn't a Pharisee before. No, you haven't heard that. But Jesus it's... was a Pharisee. We've not heard that. You've not heard that. Well, I have, I have heard that before, but I'm not so sure yeah. about it. But the beautiful thing is, the, see, the way we do this video, yeah, we, we do it in a way that, um, so where people are watching, it will cut, and it will cut to a studio, where I'll, I'll go into detail about what I just said, and give the references and everything. So it's a proper breakdown. Do you get me? And what I want you to do is respond. The evidence of what I said? Yeah, we'll challenge it. Because <laughs> you haven't said, you, everything you've said, has not really been based upon facts, just your feelings. The way you just dismiss her. Well, I want to investigate when the Catholic Church started. Yeah, <laughs> you didn't know that. Check that. When they made it start to make me things up, yeah. Yeah, inshallah. All right, Chris. I think you come from a Catholic sort of background or area Who, or something. Yeah. My, father, my father was a Methodist. It's sounds, no. It sounds like to be in your thinking. I mean, Bro, I, I used to be an atheist before I was a Muslim. And I never believed in Christianity, ever. Well, How long ago have you become Christian? 25 years or I've been Muslim 21 years in October. So that's cool, man. But I like you, Chris. Because at least we can have some civility. 